Hi guys, how are you? So this is Cherry once again. Um, actually, tong mga videos na yung ginagawa ko, outlet ko lang talaga siya. So ngayon dito ha, welcome into my outlet. But then, ayun lang. Um, today is October 11, 2020. Um, it's almost 11 in the evening and um, today marks the 30th day um, bago kami mag-exam and it's exactly one week na lang before we have our boards so anong naramdaman ko ngayon? honestly sobrang mixed feelings um, sabi nila as each day passes na daw parang pataas na pataas yung tensions and all and siguro ngayon uh, ramdam ko na talaga siya and <laughs> ayan so ngayon so ko lang muna umupo and um, mag reflect ng konti bago bumalik ulit so ano yung gagawin ko ngayon <laughs> ayan so, subjects na suunod, um, we took up preventive medicine and internal medicine for the past um, two days. Kanina, it's pharma. Pero, I'll just share about my reflections about preventive medicine and internal medicine since medyo connected din sila. Okay. So, preventive medicine. So, of course, may akong quote dito. So, nalagay. Rejoice in all the good things the Lord your God has given to you and your household. And Deuteronomy 26.11 Yeah, so, ano ba yung mga reflections ko lang about preventive medicine? Um, what I appreciate about the subject, una-una, para siyang umbrella. Para siyang um, big picture um, view of everything na nangyayari. And it lets you zoom out and see um, yung scope of medicine na hindi lang siya sa hospital, hindi lang siya for patient, but it's actually uh, in the national level and um, marami nangyayari. And when you get into that position, you actually appreciate it more in a macro view. Baga, number one. Then, pangalawa, what I also appreciate about the subject is that um, yung mga goals no, yung mga goals na sinaset for example ng Department of Health yung mga Sustainable Development Goals yan ano yung na-appreciate ko doon um, ang ganda kasi meron talagang hindi lang tayo may goal for example, therapeutic goals for the patient, pero yung goals natin for the whole picture and uh, to note, na appreciate ko na, for example, after yung MDG or yung Millennium, Millennium Developmental Goals mo ng SDG and like, parang tuloy-tuloy lang siya and lagi tayo may goals for the patient and um, ayun, more of Actually, yung wala akong na-appreciate sa preventive medicine. And for, and pangatlo, ano lang, on the side, yung sa family, family medicine. Um, hindi kasi ako sa mga family vlogs. Ganyan. So, gusto gusto ko kapag yung topic is about ayun, family, ganun, yung mga family dynamics, ganun, and that um, the patient, when you look at them, it's really not just them, pero yung family nila, no? And, which brings us to internal medicine. Hindi ko lang ko nang make sense pa ako, pero random reflections lang yun yung hindi ko na kagal ko lang. Ayan, internal medicine, and sabi dito ni Janet E. Stewart, To be a joy bearer and a joy giver says everything. For in our life, if one is joyful, it means that one is faithfully living for God and that nothing else counts and if one gives joy to others one is doing God's work 
Så so, siguro yung internal medicine, ito talaga yung sabi ko na parang parang sa whole core of um, what we really do, how, how we manage, how we uh, treat yung mga um, patients natin, and feedback daw nung ano yung nag-take ng September to yung pinakamahirap, so nangakaba na yun. Pero as reflection, um, and so siguro yung kataka kayo kung bakit ako may picture dito. So, this is actually a picture of um, my grandparents. Ayan, so, bago ako nag-aral ng IM ulit for the SpaceX, I thought of painting a picture, pictures of them. Pakailala. Pakailala. Ayan. So, ito. Sorry. Ayan. So, this is my grandmother. Ito yung sa father's side. So, si Lola Lucia, tapos si Lolo Uday. 77 years old, 74 year old female. <laughs> tapos, sa mother's side naman, si Lola Milingko, which, uh, who is 76 years old, is pinakamat tanda, is si Lolo Basil, 84 years old. And actually, my great-grandmother on the father's side is still alive. Uh, nanay siya ng Lola ko, father's side. And she is turning 100 na. Oh, diba? <laughs> this um, December. Tapos, ito lang yung mga favorite pictures ko of them. Sorry ko, wala akong pang mga edit-edit. Yan ko lang talaga yung kamay ko. So, ayan. Nag-graduation ko ng med. Tapos, nung um, undergrad. Tapos, picture namin yung lola ko. First time ko siya nung libre nung college. And, lahat ko siya pinrint. Um, it motivates me to study. Um, not just for the exam, but actually, um, yeah, no, one thing I realized na, um, you would want to know what to do when it's your relative. Kapag, ano, lolo mo na yun, or lolo mo na yun. And, I just want to thank the Lord kasi it's a blessing to have, um, to still have all my grandparents, um, with me. And I'm really praying you know, that after all this, Lord, <laughs> I want to serve them as well. Because I wouldn't be where I am right now if they don't have them. And I'm like inspired because you know that you're not alone here. You have them. And Ayun, siguro sa IM yun talaga yung somehow reflection in a way ko. Pero there's really different stories, different people, um, different presentations, mga diseases, hindi lang siya iisa. And really it's parang problem solving. So laging, ano, yun nga, isa pa pala naging reflection ko. Every problem is a opportunity. So, in the future, no, actually, ba, natatakot nga ako kapag nag ER na ganun. We would not know what will come into that door. And ito ay, sa lahat ng pinagdadaanan natin ay preparation stage for that. So, yun lang, medyo random, pero, ano, um, kaya natin to, uh, sa mga reviewers, fellow reviewees ko, I know it's really parang uphill from here. It's um, parang, di mo, parang roller coaster. Na one thing you're up and you're down. And, and so we really need people then to remind us kung bakit. And we need uh, his strength kasi hindi talaga natin um, kaya on our own. We need his wisdom, we need his grace. And he's more than willing to give it to us as we ask. So, yun lang. I have to go na. Um, <laughs> go in grace, live in love, and of course, keep.